middagkijkers. Zoals u weet is de ACS-conferentie in volle gang in Suriname. Een van de gasten is de heer Uberto Fani Darkiravi. Hij is speciaal gezant van het ministerie van Buitenlandse Zaken van Italië voor het Caribisch gebied. Welkom, Mr. Uberto. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to be here with you. Yes. This is your first time in Suriname. What is your impression about Suriname? Yes, well, I just uh, landed in Suriname uh, yesterday, so I didn't have much time to go around and uh, as much as I would like. And I'm leaving uh, tomorrow morning at 5 o'clock in the morning, so there's not much time to go around. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, Mr. Roberto, can you tell us uh, how important it is for Italy to take part in this ACS meeting since you're not a uh, a member of the ACS? Well, we, uh, as Italy, uh, we were searching for uh, relations, uh, political ones, with the Caribbean countries. So since 10 years, uh, we have a special envoy of the Caribbean countries to deepen relations with those countries. And uh, since then, we engaged in few cooperation activities, and we uh, gave soft loan, um, two years ago uh, of the cooperation to development, 50 million euros for project of sustainable development. And then we signed a memorandum of understanding between the Ministry of Environment in Italy and the CARICOM, where uh, some projects in uh, climate change, several in, uh, in uh, sustainability can, uh, can be funded. Yes, since the ECS meeting is focusing on improving business relations, and uh, you said uh, just now that you give uh, some... Uh, uh, Soft loans. So, yes. Can you tell us more about that? Yes. Uh, well, the thing is that uh, whenever you have an action on a region uh, of the world, uh, in my case, Italy, uh, has decided that the Caribbean uh, um, was worth it to have more relations with my country, and in that framework, we established to give 50 million of soft loans, which is a credit given with certain conditions, very good ones, uh, to allow private sector um, companies from the Caribbean to uh, present projects to the, to the Caribbean Development Bank uh, to be funded with. And um, so there are many actions we are doing. This is one, it's a financial one. But then we have political dialogue, we have uh, uh, collaboration in many other sectors like, uh, for instance, university cooperation, science and technology cooperation. And it's those two uh, sectors is the one I'm trying to uh, develop better and more, uh, starting with some universities in the Caribbean, uh, some universities in Italy, and see if this uh, could be a good match and a good marriage. Science and technology in the sense that uh, you have a Nobel laureate uh, in, uh, in St. Lucia, I think, uh, whose name is Arthur Lewis, um, who said that the poverty, you, do, you, you combat poverty not with money but with knowledge. And uh, I believe very much in that, uh, so that uh, uh, scientific institutions could meet with scientific institutions in the Caribbean and see how to uh, perform courses and um, educate uh, people to become scientists in, uh, in theoretical physics, in, uh, in academic physics, uh, and others. Yes. Uh, you just had a bilateral meeting with the Minister yes. of Foreign uh, Affairs. Can you tell us more about this meeting? Well, uh, we have lots of interests with, uh, with Suriname. Uh, not just on the Caribbean uh, countries, but on a multilateral uh, uh, level. And I was discussing with the, with the minister on ACS outcomes, uh, what should be done uh, also as observer, because not, we are not members, um, can be done to help uh, ACS to achieve their uh, objectives. And, um, well, we... we uh, the usual, let's say, uh, collaboration and friendship activities in the uh, United Nations and in other international organizations. And we talked about the crisis a, a little bit uh, around the world. Yes. Mr. Roberto, can you tell us what your expectation is from these meetings? Well, I expect that they uh, draw exactly 
what are the needs of those countries participating or being members of the ACS. And I think that um, uh, one of these uh, uh, objectives that they want to uh, put on the light uh, is the transportation issue. Transportation and the communication issues. Yeah. Uh, so that uh, you need to have enterprises put together to build, uh, uh, let's say, a shipping company um, for transport, for tourism, for products, uh, reaching all these Caribbean countries, which are next to them, close one to another, but very far as far as transportation is concerned. Um, so I believe that uh, this issue is it's the, it's one of the most important ones and I'm trying to do my best also to um, find the expertise in Italy we have on the, on the uh, uh, I say, builders of ships and shipping companies to see if their experience can be brought into the Caribbean countries. Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome.